Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily Oracle and Tarot card reading. And today's reading is going to be for Thursday, May the 5th, and we're using the Earth Magic Oracle Cards by Stephen D. Farmer this week, and what beautiful cards they are. And let's get started with the reading. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message you need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. And we have Rainbow. And we have Island. How peaceful is that? And the bottom card. We have Mountain. Beautiful Mountain. Okay, so blessings. Rainbow. Are we grateful for what we have? Because if we're grateful and we show gratitude, more blessings will appear in your life. Or are we wishing that we had more because our ego was never satisfied? This card here is telling us today to count our blessings. No one's life is perfect. Things of material value come and go. You may be happy when you obtain something, but it's a short-lived false type of happiness. Be thankful for the blessings in your life, like the people in your life, okay? for your health, for the fact that you have a roof over your head, for the fact that you were able to eat today. There's a lot of people out there that are homeless, that are starving, that would give anything to be you even on your worst day. So count your blessings and show gratitude today for all that you do have. And then island, solitude. And it's a beautiful island and there's a tree there. And we have like this gray murky sky sky, but to me, it, it's still a very calming look. You may have to find some quiet time for yourself today, some solitude, okay? Some where you'll be uninterrupted, whether it's sitting in your car, maybe it's a specific room in your house, maybe it's going outside alone in the backyard, but it's important to have some solitude from time to time. Okay, when you have solitude and, and, and quietness, you're able to hear your intuition more. You're able to gather yourself. You're able to be more grounded. Solitude to me is so important. I need those quiet times to check in with myself because when you're out in the world doing everything for everyone, you, you're, not, you're not going inward enough and you're getting caught up in, in all of the chaos and the drama that surrounds you. When you're able to be in solitude and you take those moments just for yourself, you're going to feel more inner peace inside. And then the last one is mountain, and it's a beautiful picture of mountains. And it's strength. Okay, so each and everything in our lives that was bad, that was awful, that was unfortunate, has made us stronger people. If we never had these fortunate, unfortunate circumstances, okay, we wouldn't know how good the good times would feel. Okay, if everything went our way all the time, trust me, it wouldn't be as rewarding and as happy and joyous if you didn't have something to compare it to. And this is telling us no matter what, we could conquer whatever obstacle, like these mountains. These are mountains that sometimes are put in our way in our life to hinder us, to hold us back. But the strength that we gain from overcoming whatever mountain it is in your life right now is going to make you stronger for it. It's going to make you stronger for the lesson. And in the end, you will be thankful and you will realize why things had to happen the way they did. And, you know, after struggling with things and then finally overcoming them it is such a good feeling inside that you you know you stood there and and you you did whatever you needed to do to overcome whatever it is it is such a great feeling it is such a great feeling but I know when we're going through the horrible things in our lives we can't imagine why things had to happen it's all in divine order right now each and every one of us is exactly where we need to be in our life Everything is unfolding according to the divine plan. And whatever 
you feel right now might be weakening you, in the end, it's going to make you stronger for it. So welcome the lessons, because with each lesson we pass, we move on to the next level and we become stronger. We have more knowledge. We have more wisdom to get through whatever life throws at us. It's all stepping stones. That's how I see it. If you've enjoyed this reading, please subscribe to my channel because I'll be back.